Hello, my name is Taylor Nicole Drake, and I'm a fourth year medical student at Eastern Virginia Medical School in Norfolk, Virginia. I will be presenting our abstract titled One Year Outcomes of Streamlined Canaloplasty in Patients with Ocular Hypertension and Open Angle Glaucoma. As many as 50% of patients fail glaucoma medical therapy alone and subsequently require additional intervention. Streamlined canaloplasty with implant-free viscodilation is a relatively new, minimally invasive glaucoma surgery, or MIGS, procedure designed to improve the natural aqueous outflow pathway. This study is part of the Advocates for Glaucoma Age Initiative, led by my mentor, Dr. Constance OKK, which aims to understand the real-world outcomes of streamlined canaloplasty and intraocular pressure reduction and in decreasing the risk of progressive glaucomatous damage within a United States-based clinical practice population. We conducted a retrospective chart review of 132 eyes of patients with ocular hypertension or open-angle glaucoma treated over a one-year period. All procedures were performed by a single, experienced glaucoma surgeon. All subjects underwent streamlined canaloplasty involving viscodilation with trabecular meshwork stripping over three to four clock hours alone or in combination with cataract surgery. Our outcome measures were mean intraocular pressure, known as IOP, change in IOP, and number of IOP-lowering medications at each postoperative time point. Our cohort comprised 132 eyes, and the mean age of subjects was 68.9 years. Most subjects, 119, or 90.2%, underwent canaloplasty in conjunction with cataract surgery, while 13, or 9.8%, had standalone canaloplasty. 47.7% of subjects were male, and 52.3% were female. More than half, 72, or 54.5%, were African American. 53, or 40.2%, were Caucasian, and 5.3% were of other races. Four subjects, or 3%, had ocular hypertension. 85, or 64.4%, had mild open-angle glaucoma. 20, or 15.2%, had moderate open-angle glaucoma. And 23, or 17.4%, had severe open-angle glaucoma. The baseline mean intraocular pressure was 17.1. This decreased to 14.9, 13.4, 14.1, and 13.2 at postoperative months 1, 3, 6, and 12, respectively. The number of IOP lowering medications decreased from a mean of 1.6 medications at baseline to 1.0, 1.0, 1.3, and 1.2 medications at postoperative months 1, 3, 6, and 12, respectively. Mean IOP for eyes in the African American and Caucasian groups was similar at baseline and throughout the follow-up period, with no statistically significant differences. The mean number of IOP lowering medications was higher in the African American group, with statistically significant differences at preoperative and postoperative three months. We found streamlined canaloplasty to be effective in reducing intraocular pressure for up to one year of follow-up, with a 22.5% reduction from baseline at 12 months and accompanying decrease in the mean number of IOP lowering medications. Reduction in intraocular pressure was similar among the African American and Caucasian populations when patients were stratified by race. While the baseline number of IOP lowering medications was higher in African Americans, the number of medications was comparable at month 1, 6, and 12. In conclusion, streamlined canaloplasty was effective in lowering IOP and reducing the mean number of IOP lowering medications from baseline to 12 months. The efficacy of streamlined canaloplasty was not affected by race and showed similar reduction and number of medications in African Americans and Caucasians. This research study could not have been possible without the expertise of Dr. OKK and the efforts of our research team, which includes Kush Shah, a third-year medical student at Eastern Virginia Medical School, Dr. Siddharth Bhargava, former chief resident of the Eastern Virginia Medical School Ophthalmology Residency Program, now completing Glaucoma Fellowship at Washington University in St. Louis, and Dr. Constance OKK, our research mentor who is a highly regarded glaucoma and cataract surgeon at Virginia Eye Consultants. We would like to thank the American Glaucoma Society for the selection of our abstract for the annual meeting 2025 in Washington, D.C.
Our reference is Interim Analysis of Streamlined Surgical System, Clinical Outcomes in Eyes with Glaucoma by Lascano Gomez et al., published in the Journal of Clinical Ophthalmology in April 2022. Again, I am Taylor Nicole Drake, a fourth-year medical student at Eastern Virginia Medical School and a prospective applicant for the SF Match in 2026. Thank you for taking the time to watch my virtual presentation. I will be presenting the physical poster in person during the moderated poster session on Thursday, February 27th from 8 to 9 a.m. Thank you.